What is a mascot without a few dozen crossovers? Name's Dave with WatchMojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 most crossed over video game characters. Oh my word, what's this? I'm late, I'm late, I'm late! Oh, oh dear, oh dear. For this list, we're looking at those video game characters who really love a good crossover, especially when it involves other gaming franchises. While quantity is the main focus, the quality of the crossovers will also be discussed. Number 10, Cloud Strife, Final Fantasy VII. While the Chocobo is probably the closest thing to a Final Fantasy mascot, Cloud Strife is the JRPG franchise's most recognizable and marketable character. Despite only appearing in one of the 15 main entries in the Final Fantasy series, Cloud has amassed an impressive collection of crossovers, even if the majority can be credited to Square Enix. Kingdom Hearts, Theater Rhythm Final Fantasy, and Final Fantasy Tactics all feature Cloud as a playable character or NPC, while Smash Bros, the Dissidia series, and the PlayStation 1's Ur Guys help the soldier practice his fighting skills. Number 9, Bomberman, Bomberman series. Considering the sheer volume of Bomberman games out there, it's hard to believe that Konami's explosive mascot ever finds the time for a crossover. Back in the day when the character belonged to Hudson Soft, Bomberman occasionally showed up as a cameo in many of the publisher's games, including 1996's Doremi Fantasy and 1999's Last Legion UX. Battle. Lock on. Perhaps due to hailing from a franchise with a gameplay style that does not leave much wiggle room for other genres, Bomberman rarely appears as a playable character. When it does happen, the crossovers tend to bring out Bomberman's strange style. Number 8. Link, The Legend of Zelda series. While Nintendo is not exactly shy when it comes to crossovers, especially among in-house franchises, the legendary company is understandably protective of its mascots. That means The Legend of Zelda's Link might fly by to shout encouragement at Sonic, but the Hedgehog will still be doing all the work. When not sleeping through Super Mario RPG or lending his fashion sense to anyone and everyone, Link might appear in a fighting series or two. Super Smash Bros. needs little introduction, but Link was also a guest character in the fantastic Soul Calibur 2. You win! Number 7, Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight. You know, for an indie character with only one proper game under his belt, Shovel Knight just keeps getting invited for crossovers. Even more impressively, Shovel Knight rarely settles for just a reference or quick cameo, often appearing as a playable character in a wide range of indie gems, such as Road Redemption, Runbow, and Blaster Master Zero, just to name a few. Despite being a relatively young character, Shovel Knight has over 20 credits to his name, and the indie mascot's reach is destined to only expand further, as AAA titles like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate begins to take notice. Number 6, Ryu, Street Fighter series. You cannot discuss video game crossovers without mentioning Street Fighter's Ryu. Who else can claim to have fought against or alongside Marvel heroes, Tekken's Jim Kazama, Asura's Wrath's godlike protagonist, Mario, and even the Power Rangers, even becoming a Power Ranger himself? Thanks to Capcom's fondness of unexpected matchups, be it as fighting games or tactical RPGs, Ryu has hadoukened his way into dozens of mouth-watering crossovers that, more often than not, are far more substantial than brief cameos. While other characters might have more crossovers, few can compare to Ryu in terms of quality and variety. And also, I found out his name is only pronounced with one syllable, before anyone starts going crazy in the comment section. Look it up. Number 5, Pac-Man, Pac-Man series. <laughs> 
Generally recognized as the first proper video game mascot, Pac-Man's stamp on the video game industry is undeniable. Putting aside the much as many sequels and spin-offs, Toru Iwatani's creation has also appeared in a fair share of crossovers, besides obvious examples like Super Smash Bros. and the Mario Kart arcade GP games. <laughs> Ever since the late 80s, Namco has loved to summon Pac-Man for a few cameos of the publisher's games, be it in the sports-themed World Stadium series or the Tales of RPGs. There's also the time the iconic mascot appeared as a selectable character in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, because Pac-Man has to do something when he's not munching on ghosts. Let the madness begin. Number 4, Mega Man, Mega Man series. Capcom is not going to pass on an opportunity for a crossover, particularly when it comes to the Blue Bomber. Whether during the Mega Man franchise's heyday, or the decade-long stretch when Capcom seemed to forget about the series, Rockman would still commonly appear in other licenses, be it Super Smash Bros, Project Cross Zone, or Animusha Blade Warriors. Okay. Technically, Mega Man's crossovers are divided between the original model, Mega Man X, and the Battle Network's digital variant, but together they have amassed quite a stunning collection of crossovers. Just pretend that that guy in Street Fighter Cross Tekken never happened. Stupid, terrible box art joke. Yeah! Victory is mine! Number 3, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong series. Considering Diddy Kong has also racked more than a few crossovers, it should hardly come as a surprise that the original Donkey Kong tends to get around. Whenever Mario feels like staging a race, throwing a party, or playing a game of soccer, Donkey Kong is likely to get an invite. But Mario spin-offs are hardly the great ape's only guest appearances. The Wii and DS era was particularly fruitful for Donkey Kong, who went on to appear as a boss in Punch-Out, as a playable character in Fortune Street, and as a Mahjong player in Yakuman DS. Number 2, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog series. Created specifically to rival Nintendo's Mario, Sonic was inescapable during the 90s. Although Sega eased off a bit after the turn of the century, the Hedgehog with Attitude spent the best part of his formative years cameoing in other Sega licenses. Starring in serial commercials and appearing in the occasional crossover comic, while most of the Hedgehog's crossovers are likely more amusing cameos, Sonic is also playable in games like Christmas Nights into Dreams and the HD version of Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD, along with the obvious examples like Super Smash Bros and the Mario and Sonic of the Olympics franchise. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Mario. Mario series. Alright, is anyone surprised? Mario has crossed over in countless other gaming franchises, mediums, and even professions. Nintendo's former plumber has more than earned his reputation as the video game industry's mascot. Putting aside the series that towed the line between spin-offs and crossovers, Mario has a history of popping up whenever games like tennis or golf needed a bit of extra oomph. Especially during the NES, SNES, and Game Boy eras. The legendary mascot's presence is so widespread that Mario never felt out of place, regardless of how bizarre the crossover might be. Gaming is Mario's world. Every other character just happens to live in it. Mario time. <laughs> in the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.